Hi, so today I'm going to discuss whether it is safe to travel domestically or internationally with Bulldogs or Frenchies. So there is one most important thing to consider if you're traveling on plane or car with your pet, especially for French Bulldogs, as they have this condition called brachycephalic airway syndrome or simply known as flat-faced or short-headed. This kind of breed can seriously hinder your French's ability to breathe properly. If you are traveling with your French Bulldog, the most crucial rule to keep in mind is to never let them out of sight. Never consent to having your dog transported in the cargo by an airline. Again, avoid consenting your dog to do it. Flying in cargo means your Frenchie will be placed beneath or under the aircraft along with the rest of the passenger's luggage. Again, never under any circumstances let your Frenchie fly in cargo. You don't want to be caught off guard by the results. So you must know even traveling by car, your French Bulldog might have breathing issues related to long distances. Even at your house, particularly in times of extreme heat, they might struggle with breathing issues. And now, I'll go into more detail about a checklist box that you should remember in addition to the most important thing I previously mentioned. So, the first question is, can you bring Frenchie on the plane with you? The answer is straightforward. It depends on the airline. All I know is that 11 airlines have so far permitted French Bulldogs to board aircraft including Alaska Airlines, American Airlines, Delta, Frontier Airlines, JetBlue, KLM, Lufthansa, Qantas, Southwest Airlines, United Airlines, and Virgin America Airlines. The airline regulations, however, could cause this information to change. Second is, what conditions must be met before they can travel? You should first consult with a veterinarian and request a certificate of good health to see if their health can withstand brief or prolonged flights. Once you are confident that your Frenchie is in perfect health for travel, the rest is simple to recall. Of course, you should take the following into account. Reserve a flight that permits their travel. Notify the airlines of these three things. That you have a French builder with you. That you want to book an in-cabin rather than a cargo flight. And next is you want to sit up front. Even if it means paying more. Even if it costs more money, you want to be in the front row. By doing this, you can avoid being stranded at the back of the aircraft where it might be too hot for your French Bulldog. Additionally, it's better for your dog if you can leave the plane quickly. Next is book the shortest route. You don't want your French Bulldog to become stressed out during a lengthy flight as this could result in health complications. Also, you have to take note of the weather. If it's summer, reserve as soon as you can, ideally in the morning. If it's winter, schedule your reservation for later in the day and don't forget to give your French Bulldog a warm, comfortable jacket to wear. So this is an optional. Obtaining a nanny flight for your pet's flight is also an option if you have large budget. You can get in touch with these pet transport companies if you want to. You must also be prepared for their requirements, conditions, and restrictions on bringing pets into domestic flights and on international flights. You need to bring everything your dog will need for health and comfort. Next will be, always be ready for hospital and emergency vet contacts. The closer the better prior to boarding the plane and after reaching the country's destination. Therefore, if everything goes well and is good, I also have some tips for you. Also, you must print out a picture of the head and body of your French Bulldog just in case the worst happens and your French Bulldog gets lost, you will be able to easily ask for assistance. Second is, make sure to get there early at the airport to ensure everything runs smoothly. Also, make sure they have eaten and gone potty. Next is, board the plane last to avoid your dog becoming overly tired in line. And this is the last is, Never decide to sedate your dogs on your own while flying as this increases heart risks. Always seek advice from the vet on this issue. So I hope this information has provided you with some tips and practical advices. 
Wishing you luck and safe travels with your dog. See you again in my next video.